like any evidence-based organization, we would be very uh, willing to receive any information that purports to the origin of the virus because, as Maria said, the origin of the virus is a very important piece of public health information for future control. So uh, if that data and evidence is available, then it will be for the United States government to decide whether and when it can be shared. But it's difficult for WHO to operate <clears throat> in an information vacuum in that specific regard. So we focus on what we know. We focus on the evidence we have and the evidence we have from the sequencing uh, and from all that we have been advised is the, 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 the virus itself is of natural origin uh, and we need to understand more about that natural origin and particularly about intermediate hosts. We uh, need to understand that we can learn from Chinese scientists, we can learn uh, from each other, we can exchange knowledge and we can find the answers together. Uh, if, if this is projected as, as, as a aggressive investigation uh, of wrongdoing, then I believe that's much more difficult to deal with. That's a political issue. That is not a science issue. We see scientists in China communicating, collaborating around the world right the way through this pandemic. We would like to see that spirit continue, and we would like to see scientists at the centre uh, of the exploration of the source of this. Science needs to be at the centre. Uh, science will find the answers. The implications of those answers can be dealt with from a policy and political perspective. Uh, so if we have a science-based investigation and a science-based inquiry as to what the origin species and the intermediate species are, then that will benefit everybody on the planet. And, and we believe that can be achieved with the appropriate approach uh, to that uh, very important question.